All right, so Shauna here from SL Wellness, and we're gonna get started on um, sharing about oils for our system. So I'm just going to share my screen so we can see. All right, so hopefully we can be well and stay well. That's our goal. Just quickly about me, um, because we are recording this and some people might catch it and not know. Um, I am a doTERRA wellness advocate. I am super enthusiast of essential oils and just the power that they have. Um, they have been wonderful in my life and I just um, can't keep that from other people. I want other people to experience that too. Um, and I'm also an occupational therapist. And so um, as I share this information with you, I want you to know that I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Um, I won't diagnose anything, um, but I do want you to know that I do have, um, you know, a health science degree. And so, you know, a lot of what I'm learning I'm, uh, or what I'm sharing is things that I've learned um, over the years as well as things that I'm learning now with you. Um, I work with kids um, specifically as an occupational therapist and as a youth yoga instructor. All right, so here today, I do wanna talk about, you know, just a little bit about what our immune system does. I think we kind of talk about it a lot, but just kind of re-looking at like, what does it actually do? Um, some ways that we might wanna be mindful of what kind of weakens our immune systems. Um, oils that can help us. Um, if there's some other areas I think that we can pay attention to um, specifically in our body to really um, hone in on supporting the immune system. And then we'll talk about some oils and different other natural solutions that we can do um, and a couple other strategies that I have um, with mindfulness and those kind of things. So what does our immune system do, right? So our immune system plays a super important role in helping us uh, prevent pathogens from entering our body. So, um, you know, viruses, bacteria, those kind of things. Um, and then if they do get in, helping to destroy them, um, protecting ourselves from them. Um, our immune system also plays a super important role in delivering nutrients to our cells, and then as well as removing toxins. Um, and so we kind of look at it as this like little police force that's constantly patrolling um, our body to make sure that um, we are protected um, we are getting the nutrients that we need, and then we're getting rid of things that we don't need. So it is this natural defense system. So we have these antibodies, which are proteins in our blood, um, our white blood cells, and then other chemicals and proteins that are, are doing the job of um, this defense. And so there are situations where um, the body might create antibodies and um, maybe attack things that should be there, and that's what we would call like autoimmune. I'm not gonna address that tonight, but for anybody who um, is aware of some of those things going on, um, that definitely happens in our immune system um, as well. So what weakens our immune system? So I think if we think about what weakens it, then we know like what we should really be thinking about as far as how can we boost it. Um, so one is genetics. We don't have a whole lot of control over that um, as far as boosting, but it is important to to know that piece, to know health history um, as much as we can um, for our family um, can help us um, be mindful of what we need to be looking for. Um, strong rounds of antibiotics. So we are noticing um, in our world today that antibiotics are probably actually over prescribed um, and a lot of other medications are being overused, which can really impact our immune system. So, um, just being mindful of that, they of course have their place um, and at times we do need them. Um, however, there may be some um, other things that we can do in place of doing that um, if they're not absolutely needed. Um, definitely higher levels of stress um, as well as grief and loneliness. So those are factors um, that our cells, you know, um, I had posted earlier on Facebook, our, our cells know our thoughts. And so if those things are going on, our body is definitely physically impacted by them as well. Limited water intake. I know that that is something, um, those of you who are following along on the last 90 days challenge um, with the Hollis family, um, water intake is definitely something we need to be thinking more about 
um, to help our body um, and our immune system with the support it needs. Um, we talked a lot last week about nutrition and um, digestion, those kind of things. So, you know, what we're putting into our body as far as our food, um, you know, chronic digestive issues can happen, um, impacting our immune system. Sedentary lifestyle definitely can impact it. But then also on the other side of that is there is a such thing as too much exercise. So there's that balance that our body needs with those. So, um, and then, uh, of course, excessive use of alcohol and nicotine would definitely be impacting our immune system. Um, sleep, um, weight management, um, poor hygiene habits, not enough sunlight. Um, for those of you who live around us, um, I hear the weather's going to be like January tomorrow <laughs> here in November. So um, we're already getting prepared for not enough sunlight, I think. Um, so some things we need to think about. Um, there. And then, of course, toxic load, which we know um, have been talking about through all these classes, is definitely an impact on us. Um, so, why consider essential oils, right? So, the really cool thing about essential oils is that the, um, you know, quality, pure oils like doTERRA um, really do have uh, a very similar chemical footprint compared to the cells of the human body, which make it really cool for them to be able to um, penetrate the cells. And so, Essential oils are um, fat soluble. They can make it right into those cells and have that um, defense mechanism that we need them to have right there in the cell um, to help eradicate things like viruses. So viruses happen inside our cell. Um, and so um, that's why we really want to think about essential oils for, for getting into the cell and attacking the viruses. And then some oils actually have um, hydrophilic properties, which means they, they like the, um, the water and the fluid, um, one such oil like oregano, and that actually helps um, fight bacterial infections, which are outside of the cell. Um, so that's just something you want to consider when we're thinking about certain oils, um, depending on what pathogens are um, attempting to have an impact is really what we're looking for depending on the oil property. Um, I think a super important factor that we need to think about when we're, we're thinking about using essential oils is that quality factor because actually what happens when an essential oil is adultered or it doesn't have a very good quality, it's laced with synthetics, um, it's not sourced properly, those kind of things. Actually what happens when it tries to get into the body is that it is having um, more of this mirror image, which means the chemical structure of it is reversed. And so it really is having a limited physiological support, um, if any, because it's not able to have um, that chemical footprint that our body is looking for um, to have a reaction with our cells. All right, so some super important things to think about as far as what areas do we want to focus on? So we've talked about our cells and that sort of thing. We don't really talk, <laughs> talk about what our cells are doing, but if we can think about um, what different parts of our body are doing. And so um, our hair and our skin and our nails, those, that's really our first line of defense. Um, and so it's really important for us to think about the care of those things um, as a first line of defense for our immune system. Um, and then I will talk about some oils for that in just a minute. Our lymphatic system, so this is our tonsils, our adenoids, um, our thymus, our lymph nodes, our spleen, those are all super important um, to the immune system as far as working together. So, you know, they're making those antibodies, um, they're making those white blood cells, um, helping to eliminate those things. Um, our spleen, you know, it's so funny when I was preparing for this, I'm like, I don't think anybody ever talks about their spleen, um, but it has a super important role in our immune system as far as um, being able to get rid of um, old and damaged blood cells and um, protecting us from bacterial infections. And so this lymphatic system is super important for us to tune into um, that proactive care of and then our respiratory system, absolutely. Um, we all know that that has an impact um, for our respiratory um, health. And so this 
has a role of like moving contaminants out of our respiratory tract for us. And then um, our digestive system, which I had a whole class on that last week. If you've missed that, the, the video is available for you to watch. But we did learn that 70 to 80% of our immune cells are in our digestive tract. So we wanna make sure we're paying attention to that. So these are all things that we think about wanting a boost. And then of course there's other things um, like exercise and sleep and downtime, you know, per, um, personal development, those kind of things that are super important for us um, to stay well. So this first line of defense, thinking about skin, hair, and nails, right? So we really need to be thinking about like, what are we putting on our um, hair? What are we putting on our skin? What are we putting on our nails? And I know that's really hard when we're thinking about all of those products, but I do encourage you to just take it a little bit at a time. Um, think about products that you are using for your beauty um, and slowly start to weed out some things. Um, if you can't really understand the ingredients on your products, then it's probably something you wanna consider um, swapping because um, those chemicals are really, really having an impact on our immune system because we're not able to filter those out because we're having so much toxic buildup that our body can't naturally be able to remove it all. And then of course, I already talked about drinking more water. So recommendation is that you drink half of your body weight in ounces. Um, and so if, you know, example, 130 pounds, you would need 65 ounces of water, which is like eight cups of water a day, which I think is a challenge. <laughs> but um, Something that if we are more mindful of that, we are getting hydrated, then we are supporting our body's ability to do what it needs to do to fight off what we don't want so we can feel our best. So here, here's one of those screens that I said is probably gonna have a lot on it tonight. Um, and I'm just gonna touch base on a few of them. So these are ways that we can support our, our hair, our skin and our nails um, to help our immune system. And so rosemary is a really great oil for hair. Um, if just putting like a drop or two in your shampoo is a really great way to um, support your scalp and support the health of your hair. Um, and we do have, you know, doTERRA does have um, shampoo and conditioner as well. Um, another really great one for our skin is lavender. And so um, lavender just really helps cleanse the skin, heal, um, helps limit scarring, wounds, blisters, those kind of things that we want to maintain so that we're not letting um, pathogens in. Frankincense is a really great one. I absolutely love my. Um, my frankincense touch roller. So this is the one that's already pre-diluted. Um, I actually use this under um, my eyes. So when we talked about genetics earlier, genetically, I know that um, dark circles and um, under the eyes run in my family. Um, and there's a way to, to support that. And frankincense is a really good one um, for reducing inflammation um, as well. And then another one that I really like is helichrysum. And a great way to get helichrysum actually is in our Correct X, um, which is this um, ointment. And so I actually use um, this Correct X as lip balm. Um, and it's really great for like any kind of scrapes, um, any sort of face blemishes going on. Um, so this has lavender, it has melaleuca, um, has the helichrysum in there as well as the cedarwood and frankincense. So you're getting a lot of those really nourishing um, essential oils for the skin right there in that ointment. So definitely a good one to have around. Let's see. And then I also like to use a roller that I've put together. Um, it's actually, the recipe was called Zit Zapper, but um, it has uh, melaleuca, lavender, and frankincense in there. And just having those already together um, yes, it's, it's good for skin blemishes, but I also like to roll it on um, like my nail beds um, and just kind of massage that in to help um, with the health of your nails. Uh, supplements, so our bone nutrient complex um, really has a great um, bioavailable, which means it helps it absorb better calcium and vitamin D and other minerals, which are super important for our hair, skin, and nails. 
um, as well as the rest, you know, our bones. Um, and then the vitamin D is super important for our body to be able to absorb the calcium. So if you're looking for um, calcium supplements, make sure you have the vitamin D with it so that um, your body is able to absorb it. And then we have other supplements like our IQ Omegas. Those are the kid um, liquid version of Omegas. And when I say kid, adults can take it too. Um, it's just formulated for kids specifically. Um, and then the XE Omega, those are essential oils. Um, and omegas that you need, um, and as well as the Microplex VMZ, that whole food complex. So supplementation is super important when we're thinking about um, hair, skin, and nails. And then personal care, I'm not sure if you guys can all see this here, but there's definitely different products. I've already talked to, you know, shampoo and conditioner. Um, we have a whole spa collection as far as lotions go, um, scrubs, and those kind of things. Um, we have a whole thing for um, acne with our HD Clear, which I will just add a little tip that I actually have used the HD Clear roll-on as deodorant for several weeks, testing it out um, because I had heard that that was really good and it is a rock star. So <laughs> if you're thinking about a swap for that, the HD Clear is um, a multitasker. And then um, the Raj skincare. So the Raj is what I prefer to use. And so this is the moisturizer um, and it has a face um, wash and a toner as well. So those are all options if you are ready for that for um, hair, skin and nails. All right, so our lymphatic system. So I talked about how important it is to think about these parts that we don't always think about. Um, so our tonsils and our adenoids and our thymus, so the tonsils are considered the toilet of the brain, which is so gross, but um, it really helps us paint this picture that really the job is for um, the waste that's leaving the brain, those cells that are um, our body's trying to get rid of that are damaged um, or old. And um, what happens with the tonsils when they get compromised or they get swollen is that it's like creating a dam and so the drainage and the toxic buildup can't happen, um, which over time actually the impact um, is pretty big. Um, it can have an impact on our vagus nerve, um, which is what controls um, things going on in our autonomic nervous system, which is like our heart rate, um, our GI function, and getting sensory information from um, our body to our brain. So you can see that tending to our tonsils is super important. Um, adenoids, um, also if they are chronically inflamed, you're going to be getting things like chronic allergy symptoms, um, viral and bacterial infections often, chronic ear infections, and ultimately over time, you guys, these things definitely may need to be surgically removed in the event that some things um, have taken over where it's, they're not healing. Um, but I wanna talk a little bit about some things that we might could do to prevent those things from happening. Um, and we have our thymus, which is active until puberty. Um, it's really, its job is to train and develop the white blood cells. Uh, we have our lymph nodes, which um, you know, we, we know those as what gets swollen when we don't feel good. Um, but these definitely can recognize um, like foreign things that are going on, um, even cancer cells that are carried through the fluid. Um, so it's super important to keep those healthy to fight off those infections, um, as well as our bone marrow and our spleen, as I mentioned earlier. So here's some things to support lymphatic system. Um, definitely citrus oils. So citrus oils are really great for um, helping with drainage. And so um, oils like lemon and grapefruit, those are really great to just put a drop in your water um, if you like the taste of that. Um, lemongrass is a phenomenal oil for our lymphatic system. Purify, um, so we've talked about Purify when we did our cleaning class, but you can actually use your Purify to support your lymphatic system too. So that's handy to see that there's multiple uses. Um, citrus Bliss, which is one of probably my favorite citrus oils. Um, it's a combination of several, so I really like Citrus Bliss. Um, and then Slim and Sassy also is a blend of um, our oils that's more for metabolism, but um, can also be a, a great use for drainage. 
I do want to say about citrus oils, just making sure that you, um, when you're going into the sun, make sure that you're putting these oils on skin that's not going to be sun exposed um, because some of them are photosensitive and then you, um, you know, might end up with um, rashes and those sort of things that we don't want to have. So just be mindful of that when you're using citrus oils. Um, and the last one that I'm a super huge fan of is this Aroma Touch. Um, Aroma Touch is our massage blend. Um, and so this one is a really great one to apply to the bottoms of your feet to support your lymphatic system. And there's a couple other ones here like black pepper and cypress that are really good too. Um, don't know that we always have those oils around, but um, if you've had them, there's some additional uses for them. And our respiratory system. So our respiratory system, as mentioned, um, you know, is really important for removing those contaminants from our body. That's where our breathe products come in. So um, our breathe products really are created to help clear our airways. And so um, as you see pictured there, we have like the respiratory drops, which are absolutely um, one of my favorite products. Have those in my purse all the time. It really helps um, clear the airways. That also comes in um, a stick, which is like a, a vapor rub type of thing would be without all of those um, unwanted chemicals in it. And then it also um, is in the oil for diffusing as well as um, you know, those pre-diluted rollers, um, which is super helpful for being able to grab and, and just put on the chest or put on the bottoms of the feet um, to support. Peppermint and cardamom are in the breathe. Um, so if you don't have the brief products, but you have some of these other ones, you definitely could supplement and um, get that support that you're looking for. And then um, lemon, which is a pretty universal um, oil, as you'll hear through this. Um, so lemon can also be used to support our respiratory system. All right, so last week's entire class was on digestion. So this is just a repeat um, of information. Um, anybody who might not have caught that one, um, as I mentioned earlier today, 70 to 80 percent of our cells, our immune system cells, are in our digestive uh, system. And I don't know if that speaks numbers to you, but it really does to me um, to know that that's how important addressing our digestive system really is um, for our kids, for ourself, because that's where so much of our, our immune health um, is in action. And then these are the products. So you guys know I'm super fan of probiotics. So our PB Assist, our PB Assist Junior, those are super helpful for keeping the healthy bacteria in our gut. Um, terazymes, as we learned last week, we don't um, make them as um, naturally. Um, the older we get, the less we're making. And so having the support of being able to break down our food, get our nutrients we need um, to support our our immune wellness, of course, our vitamins, and then there's some oils that are super helpful too. Our whole Digest Zen um, crew is super helpful, as well as, hey, look, there's lemon again. <laughs> um, super helpful for our digestive system as well. All right, so then just overall products, right? Um, our On Guard Protective Blend is our um, number one oil for just overall immune health. So this is the one that's going to um, be proactive. It's going to have um, cinnamon and clove um, and wild orange in there, rosemary. So a lot of the oils that we've already talked about are in this On Guard blend. And so this is coming in so many products you see here, um, our toothpaste. Um, we now have mouthwash. We have our cleaning products with On Guard, um, hand soap those beadlets. Um, we have the, the throat drops, which are super helpful this time of year um, in the On Guard. So On Guard is definitely a way to, to build on your products and have those to support. Um, a couple other ones that I think um, are super helpful to mention, Copaiba. So um, Copaiba comes in oil form as well as soft gels. Um, I have been using the Copaiba soft gels to really help um, with any sort of pain management things going on um, because they really do help reduce inflammation. But overall, they're definitely supporting um, pretty much all of our systems 
um, in the body. So this one, oils can be taken internally um, or topically or even diffuse. Um, I put a drop in my tea last night. Um, super helpful for rest too. So that one is a really good one to have. That's the pretty universal for a lot of things. Uh, oregano. So I talked about oregano earlier and its role with um, bacterial infections. Um, overall, it is a, a very strong oil. It's considered a hot oil, so you always want to make sure you dilute it um, for adults and for kids. Um, a really good way to have that oil is in the Touch series um, because it's already diluted um, for um, all ages, and so that's, that's super helpful uh, to have around, but definitely supporting our immune system, our digestive, and our respiratory, so all of those things together with oregano. Um, and these last three are three oils that are pretty much becoming my daily routine um, in capsule form. So I've been putting a drop of pink pepper, a drop of um, turmeric, and a drop of yarrow palm every morning into um, a veggie capsule. So if you're not familiar with those, um, they're just vegetable glycerin capsules that you can just open up and put um, drops of oil in if you do want to take them internally, but you don't always want the flavor um, of that. So pink pepper, turmeric, and yarrow have been absolutely amazing for helping me feel good overall. Um, I have noticed a definite difference in my skin. I've been having some hormonal issues with my skin and it's definitely making an impact on that. I'm just about two weeks in on using this um, regimen every day um, and hands down it definitely is supporting. Um, really helps with inflammation um, in the body and a mood, um, emotional uplift. So those things that we talked about in the beginning really having an impact, um, you know, if our our mood's not well, then our body's not well. And so um, these are oils to help support that. And then the Yara Palm is just this beautiful blue um, oil. It has the schmazoline, which is great antioxidants in there. Um, but it is great too. So I've actually been putting it in my, um, the Virage face lotion that I mentioned, been putting a drop in there um, morning and night too. Um, and it's, it really is making a difference. Um, so I speak volumes for those new oils. I'm super excited that we have uh, those with us now. And then um, doTERRA has this wonderful aroma touch technique, um, which is a massage technique that anyone really can do. Um, I have the link there um, for some videos that are easy to follow along. Um, I actually have done this massage um, with my husband and it actually um, has really supported. And um, there are, in the bigger version of the book, there are some um, kite cliff notes on it too, which is super helpful um, when you're learning how to do it. Um, but it really is um, on purpose looking at our stress management. So step one, um, we are using oils, um, balance and lavender to um, help the body um, release some stress and start to um, go into that like rest mode. And then um, step two encourages our immune support. And so we have our melaleucan, our on guard in step two. And then step three um, is um, helping us reduce pain and inflammation in the body. And so that's where aroma touch and deep blue come in. And then um, Step four is bringing that like balance back. So bringing that homeostasis, and I don't know if you can see that here, but um, it's wild orange and peppermint. Um, so a lot of the oils that we've talked about today um, are right here in this technique. And it's about like a 20 to 30 minute because you are um, doing repetition of, of particular massage movements, but super easy to do. Um, so if you have questions about that or you wanna know more about that, I would definitely be happy to walk you through um, how some of that works. But if you just do it, <laughs> there's really not like you're going to mess up or anything. Um, but it really is a great way to, to move our body into uh, wellness. All right. So we talked a lot about many, many oils. I hope it wasn't too overwhelming, but I do want to mention, um, you know, really tuning in and making sure that you are getting enough sleep 
Um, and if you're using some oils to help with that, a couple classes ago, I did one on sleep um, and stress. So balance and serenity um, are those that I really recommend for, for rest. Um, also, try yoga and meditation. I know it's not for everybody. Um, there's so many different approaches with that. Um, I would love to help you out if you're curious about different ones. Um, but really, you guys, just taking moments in your day to just breathe on purpose. So all day long, we breathe without thinking about it, but it's super important for us to, to take time to just breathe on purpose, um, to really help our body have that state of homeostasis that we need to stay well. Um, this next one, enjoying tea and dark chocolate. Those are um, not just my preferences. I do recommend them <laughs> for wellness. Um, they do have really great um, antioxidants in them um, to support our body's wellness. And then um, exercise, I talked about that earlier. So whatever it is that you choose, it is important that we, we are getting movement in routine. Um, especially during these winter months as we move into that. I think oftentimes that that might be a factor or is a factor of why we get sick more in the winter because we are more sedentary, at least here in the cold Midwest. Um, but making sure you're including rest days. So don't um, overdo it with exercise either. And then having a gratitude practice, right? So taking those moments to um, appreciate different things that are going on in your life. Um, I call them pause moments. Um, so just trying, like if you're driving in the car, trying to notice things that maybe you haven't noticed before, um, just to really um, help with that mindset. And then of course there's personal growth podcasts and videos and books and all kinds of things that we can do um, to help our, our overall um, wellness. All right, so that was a lot. Um, how do I get doTERRA in my life, right? For those of you who may be watching who haven't um, started using them yet, you can definitely check them out on my website. Um, you can message me. I'd love to help you kind of individualize that. Um, it's really easy to shop. You can shop retail, but I would say the best way to do it is as a membership. Make sure you get a 25% off for the year. Um, there's some kits that have a lot of these oils that I talked about in them. Um, there's a whole aroma touch kit, which has all the oils that you need for that technique. So that's helpful. Um, and those oils um, kits are available um, when you join, but you can also purchase kits um, later on too, if those are things that you already are a member and are interested in. And then of course we have our, our loyalty rewards program where we're really getting rewarded as we shop. Um, and then I'm always looking for people who are ready to share with others so that um, you might even be able to, to get a lot of these oils paid for um, so that your family is able to, to use them on a regular basis. Um, all right, so here's my contact information. Um, I do have Espel Wellness over on Facebook and Instagram, which is super helpful as far as being able to, to share and to um, get some input from you guys as well on what you're using and what you're finding to to help and work, we all learn from each other. All right, so I hope you guys are um, finding this helpful. I hope that you all will be well this winter season and taking care of your immune system.